So what do you do when you're heartbroken? You go to Africa. <laughs> um, I, went, I, went on a, I went to a community where I go where uh, there's a guy, his name is Elimo Injal. He started the very first NGO, a nonprofit organization, after Kenya's independence, and it's a Christian organization to nurture artists and their work, and uh, we call him Baba. And so I went to take refuge there for a little bit and just to, to heal. And uh, when I got there, he sat me down and he, he, he let me know the difference between landmarks, monuments, and landmines. And this is Baba. This is him on, uh, for his birthday playing me a song for his birthday. Uh, he's an amazing man. Uh, he is an 82-year-old man who, to prove his point, will punch you in the chest as if he's an 18-year-old boxer, leaving you breathless, and then jump, leap on top of tables just as tall as this one. He's an amazing ball of energy and imagination. And he said, Marlon, why are you surprised? He said, don't you know that the church is so focused on monuments that the church has forgotten that it is a movement? He said, Marlon, haven't you recognized by now that the landmarks and monuments that once lifted us up become landmines that blow us up? He said, Marlon, the church universal is being blown up because we are highly elevating landmines that are blowing up communities in the name of landmarks that were supposed to lift them up. I came back to the United States with one thing in mind, and that was that I was going to do what I must do to bring the kingdom of life. Sometimes we do all we can do to survive and are too broke, amen, and broken down to do what we must do to live and thrive. I think the kingdom needs to be much more musty. We need to focus on what we must do. If your building is not a must to meeting the need of the community, you are not being musty enough. You're doing all you can to keep the building, but none of what you must to serve God where you are. People call me um, uh, irritable. Uh, like Julia, I'm an antagonist, and people wish that I never would come to certain meetings because I always promote ideas that think, strangely enough, about people on the outside more than I think about people on the inside, and people get offended by some of my observations. But I see it like this. I may be musty and offensive to them. You know, I'm a musty person, right? My daddy used to come into the house after cutting the yard when I was a little bitty boy before he made me cut the yard all by myself. And he'd be so stinking. We'd be like, ew, you stink. But my father was not musty just to be musty. He was musty because of the work that he was doing to curate beauty in our home. We need to be much more musty in the kingdom of God. We need to be offensive to those who want to go the middle of the road, offensive to those who want to seek mediocrity, offensive to those who want to hold on to property more than they want to let loose passion in the world. 